Well, many of us will soon be setting off on holidays and the last thing you want to worry about is home security. But the good news is there are now some great affordable devices that will help you get that extra peace of mind when you're setting off. And joining us now to go over it all is our today tech expert, Charlie Brown. Good morning to morning, you. Morning, guys. Mate, uh, I like the fact that not only have you brought the display, but you can bring up on your phone right now a bit of a security situation at your house. Well, I had a situation during the week because my wife was uh, out overnight. My daughter was in hospital, tonsils out, that kind of thing. Someone was tapping at the window at 4 o'clock in the morning. I thought, who's that? Bloody bush turkey, it turned out. <laughs> and I, I realised, because I've got this one at home, this is the, this is the Swan Floodlight camera, and so I was able to see the bush turkey... I was able to turn the lights on. When that didn't scare the bush turkey away, I could pick up my phone and shout, go away, <laughs> to the bush turkey, and he looked up and ran away. I thought, how brilliant is that? I didn't even need to get out of bed to shoo the bird away from tapping on my window. So yeah, how much does something like that set you back? And is that what it does? It, it looks, then you can put the line and you can Camera, speak. Camera, yeah. sensor, lights, you can have a siren on it. Uh, but the main thing about it is that you remote... At remote access the device via the app. So you can, you can bring up a, a from video any, on from, there. From, yeah, in from the anywhere world. in the world. Now, the, there's a slow 4G speed in here, so it's a bit slow to bring it up. But the thing is, I didn't even need to get out of bed. Now, I could have been on holidays anywhere else mm. in the world, and it did it for me. Now, this one, you need to wire in. The electrician comes over and he wires it in for you. Um, and is that's, it expensive? Uh, no, the, these, the, all these are sort of $200 and up. So, okay. depending on what kind of say, you that are. one looks top of the line kind of thing. That, that looks it is, like it is. Now, launch rockets. But so, is same, there something a bit more affordable? Same company makes a, a, a doorbell. Yep. So you have it at the door, you push the button, you get the alert on your app called this is the Ring Video Doorbell. But then the other thing is you can actually go put these ones around your home. This is from a company called Swan, originally an Australian company. It's weatherproof, so it doesn't matter if it gets wet. It's got storage built into the actual camera. So even if your internet goes down, uh, it keeps recording. Um, and then when the internet goes back up, it then uploads the vision to the cloud again. Um, rechargeable battery, this is about $250. And what you can do is just not everybody wants to have these cameras around their house all the time. Mm. So you put this little base plate on the side of the house, and when you're ready to go, and go on holidays, you can attach the camera to the base plate, and then it's recording when you're away. Really, really simple. Other ones out there, now Apple has got this thing called HomeKit. It's a little app that is on your iPhone, and all your different connected devices that are made for HomeKit connect to it. This is one of them from D-Link. You can put this one in the house, and it's got a 180-degree view of all of the things that are going on in your house. And you can access that from the, na from the native HomeKit app on your iPhone. And are they kind of motion censored to give you alerts? You walk past, you get an alert on your phone, someone's walk past the camera, uh, you can see in the dark. I mean this one from Swan can tell the difference between a human, a car and a bush turkey. So it will say, yeah. it will literally say to you, do you want to record everything? Do you want to only want to record large heat sensitive objects? Do you want to record, uh, or, and, and the thing is if you're recording everything, the battery runs out a bit faster. It doesn't even need to be security, even if just the in-laws turn up. You're like, oh, I'm not answering <laughs> so, the door well, today. Well, Everyone turn the lights off. Video doorbell. You say, look, I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm out. Yeah. I'm out at the moment. But now, uh, Just quickly, some tips for people uh, if they are heading away. Yeah. One of the things I noticed uh, they're talking about now is social media. Don't, yes. don't announce to the world that you're heading on holiday. Yep. Don't announce to the world that you're going on holiday. I mean, that's the dumbest thing you could ever do. And um, the other thing is, don't put your box from your brand new Samsung 55-inch <laughs> television oh, out on the curb. I saw someone do that really? the other day. Yes. That had never a occurred to me. Hello. Box on the curb. Well, that house has a new TV. Well, where do you put it? You, you, you split know, you it up and put it in your recycling bin. Top, mm. Smash it right down in there. Mm. Get it a bit wet and the, the, the cardboard falls a bit out. But the other thing that you can do is if you're going away for a long time, you get one of these solar panels. Put it out on, and plug it into one of the cameras and then the thing won't run out of batteries. I mean, they've really got a solution for you for everything. Now, even if you don't have Wi-Fi at your house, this camera here from the uh, Arlo Go from Netgear, it's got a 4G SIM card in it. So if you've got a holiday house with no internet there, Put this one in there, plug it into the wall, and you can still remote access to your video camera. Gone are the days of just leaving the light and the radio on to make people think yeah. you're at home. Exactly right. <laughs> Ask the neighbours to check once a week. That old chestnut. All yeah. right. Great Charlie, stuff, Charlie. Thank you. Thank you.